All right, guys, let's be real here. Your Mac is only as good as the apps that you have on it. And over the years, I've found some absolute game changers that I literally cannot live without. So whether you're a student, a content creator, or just someone looking to boost your productivity, these apps will surely take your Mac experience to a whole new level. Let's get straight into it. So guys, before we get into our list, I want to start off with an honorable mention that technically can't really be used on my Mac because right now I'm rocking the M1 MacBook Air. So um, yeah, I really got to upgrade. So the first app is going to be Notch Nook. And this app pretty much transforms the little island notch on the newer MacBooks into a functional accessory. This lets you organize your widgets, customize your UI, and just make use of the dead space that that notch has. And I've seen a couple of my buddies use it. It is fantastic. I'll put some clips of it right here, but it literally works like as if Apple made it, but it is a third party feature. I definitely, definitely would have it if I had a Mac with a notch on it. It is such a great app. I had to, had to, had to include it in this list as an honorable mention. Guys, make sure you download Notch Nook to make use of that little dead space notch on the newer MacBook. So the first app I want to talk about, of course, it has to be Notion. This is not a paid sponsorship or anything. I just really think that Notion is one of the best apps. It really runs my life, essentially. It is great for being a task manager, a class notes organizer, or a content calendar, which is basically what I use it for. And the best part of it all is that Notion fits completely to fit your workflow. So like I said, I use it for those three things, but you can literally make calendars on it, do a whole lot of stuff on it. So let's check it out. So guys, this is my Notion. I'm still fairly new to it because I kind of just started using it. But as you can see here on the left hand side of the screen, I have my fall 2024 courses, which I'd finished. And basically what it was, was I took a bunch of notes and stuff for school and this really helped me study and notion makes it easy because i can kind of organize it depending on the courses and what's cool is you can even put little emojis to describe the class or whatever it is you're working on and then of course i have my winter 2025 courses um, which is what i'm working on right now and continuing on from the previous theme i take all my notes i screenshot stuff from the slides and i put it here um it just works really really well and is very very user friendly which is why i do recommend it and for my youtube i have all my content ideas um right over here so for example the best mac apps over here i put a little script for it um and whenever the video is done like for example the apple student discount shorts once the video is done i put like to put a little check mark on it and basically notion helps me keep track of all my things keep it all in one place keep it organized i can use emojis to kind of sort everything out which is really really cool notion is completely free there is a paid version i think with the paid version you can collaborate a little bit more with other people i'm not quite sure actually you guys are gonna have to do your own research for that uh don't take my word for it but notion the free bit is absolutely a game changer i do recommend that you guys check this app out um yeah so the next app I want to talk about is a pretty unique app. It's pretty silly, but um, I do actually find myself using it. I do really see the value in it. So let's get into it. So this app is called Hand Mirror. And have you guys ever hopped in a Zoom call like half asleep? You've just woken up, you have an 8 a.m. and you didn't really have time to check yourself out before that call. Well, yeah, that's where Hand Mirror comes in. So as you can see at the top of my screen over here, there's a mirror kind of looking object. And when I click on it, I'm able to see myself right here, as you can see through the screen recording. Now I'm looking at the camera, but I'm able to see myself and check myself out. So if I look up like that, I can see how I look um, kind of on the fly before I hop in a call. And it's a completely free app, so um, it's worth a download. It's pretty cool. It's a unique app. I don't see many people talking about it. But um, yeah, hand mirror is really, really cool. And the fact that it lives in your menu bar too is awesome. Um, so it's not interfering with your dock at the bottom. Yeah, guys, check out hand mirror completely free. Um, and it's a pretty useful app. You guys would be surprised. So the next app is something that I have been gatekeeping from all of my friends just because it looks so cool. But um, I think it's time to let the secret out. 
So the app that I'm talking about is Sleeve. And if you guys look at my screen over here, at the bottom right, you can see a Drake track is playing over my dead body. Absolute banger. But basically what Sleeve is, is it's an aesthetic Spotify player. So this is perfect for you music lovers who love to do work and listen to Spotify at the same time, which is me. I love doing that. So this app puts a super clean and minimal music player as a widget on your home screen and it looks perfect you can move it around as you can see here uh, i like to keep it in the bottom right corner because it's like the least cluttered space but if i want to play the track i can just go ahead and play it like that but i'm not going to for copyright reasons you can skip the track go next you can heart the track and it's all interlinked with your spotify the app is down here so if we click on it you can change a whole bunch of stuff with the little player at the bottom for example you can change the theme of it um, you can make the music like that. You can make it classic. I like to keep it this new version. You can change the layout. You can change the words from horizontal to vertical. You can make them stacked. You can make the music text only as well. But of course, when there's an album cover, I like to have the album cover there. You can change the artwork size from small, large, extra large. Um, I like to keep it small just because it's nice and compact and you can literally customize a whole lot of stuff with this Like as you can see you can change the light you can change the the font even the position You can even have it that when you're on a window You can have it to keep it on the desktop or you can have it to show up above your windows Which is pretty cool and you can even add hotkeys to it Which is really really cool in terms of the aesthetic and how it looks on your MacBook And the fact that you don't have to keep going back and forth between your Spotify app and your actual workflow it kind of does boost your productivity in a way. And of course, it's a conversation starter. Everyone that's seen my MacBook screen always asks, how do you get that there? The one downside for Sleeve is that it is about 10 bucks on the App Store. I believe if you download Sleeve from their actual website, you can get it for around six bucks. But it is super aesthetic. It's super lightweight. And it makes your Mac seem even more premium, believe it or not. So I would definitely recommend checking Sleeve out. So guys, this next app is going to help with something that I'm sure a lot of you guys struggle with. And that is window management. Let's be real here. The Mac OS window management absolutely sucks. And if you're coming from Windows or you're working both with Mac and Windows, you guys definitely prefer the window snap feature way better than the Mac split feature. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is what I mean. When you have two screens, let's say you need to work on two screens, you need to literally drag it and then you hover over it. And the max you can do with Mac is left and then put this one to the right. The max that you can do with Mac is this. And to be honest, it's not very helpful at all, especially for those of you guys that need to work on three, maybe even four windows at a time. That's where Magnet comes in. Now, Magnet is another paid app, but it is literally, I think, the most useful app on this list for me, at least. So you're able to have many, many different options. You can divide your pages into two, into three, even into quarters. And there's many, many different options. You can even show more of one page, less of another. And it works very similar to the Windows snapping feature, which is what I really like. So as you can see, if you have a YouTube tab and you want to divide it to the top right half, and it works perfectly as a snapping feature, as it should. And you can even add hotkeys to this, which I haven't done yet, but with the click of a button, you can move your window to the bottom, to the left, to the right, wherever you please. And of course, this is something that is not readily available when you get a MacBook. So certainly I think that Magnet is something that's able to boost your productivity, especially when I'm studying, I will definitely have multiple tabs open and I won't have to manually resize them or I haven't had to manually resize them ever since I got this app. So guys, I know it's a paid app, but trust me, it completely changes the Mac OS window task managing. Once you use it, you guys won't go back. So guys, the very last app that I'm gonna be talking about is an app called Ice. Now, as you guys can see here with the introduction of all these apps that we've downloaded, our menu bar is looking extremely messy. Like there's hand mirror there, there's magnet there, Notion is up there as well. I work a lot on Microsoft Teams, so that's up there as well. And it just looks very, very cluttered. Ice is an app that helps significantly with that. So it's a free app and basically all you have to do is everything to the left of the ice icon in the menu bar, you can hide it and everything to the right, you could keep it. You can change your menu bar layout, the menu bar appearance as well. Right over here in my menu bar at the top where my mouse is, if I click it, all the apps that I use will be there. And if I click it again, they will all be hidden, which is so perfect. It gives much of a cleaner look to my menu bar. 
and as a minimalist i really really like this so i'm not constantly staring at a messy menu bar i think that ice does a great job of hiding it so that it is not all shown to me at once and i'm able to focus on my tasks that i have at hand i don't know it just makes my mac look a hell of a lot cleaner and i cannot go back to a cluttered menu bar ever again after using ice so guys that pretty much wraps up my video of the best mac apps that i literally cannot live without you guys have to try some of these out i swear it'll make a huge difference in your life if you guys enjoyed the video please leave it a like drop some comments as to which mac apps you guys really enjoy using i know there's a ton that i haven't mentioned but i feel like i wanted to mention the ones that really impact me in my life i know there's ones like alfred or raycast and those are really great mac apps as well but these ones were the most influential to me and i think they will be really influential to you guys as well if you try it out turn on the bell notification so you never ever miss my uploads we are on the road to 100 subscribers hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet bit of content it's been your boy rush stay motivated stay consistent it's all love always i'll catch you guys in the next one peace I'm motivated like Kobe.